Minnesota is set to get $6 billion or more from the infrastructure package passed by Congress. That's money for roads, bridges, and highways. It also includes an estimated $100 million for broadband to connect every corner of Minnesota to high-speed Internet. Right now, many say not having that access is a big barrier to business and education. Caroline Cummings explains. At Pleasant Valley Orchard, 50 minutes from the Twin Cities, apple trees are a plenty, 5,000 on 15 acres. But if you're looking for high speed internet, it's a desert. I think people take it for granted. We don't take it for granted at all. I mean, we would desperately want to have that technology available to us. The internet the Ericsons do have at their home across the street is extremely slow and disconnects often. In a digital age, that makes running a business harder. So that's $13. From something as simple as printing a credit card receipt to streamlining sales and inventory. There's just a lot of inefficiencies and time delays, and time is money in a small business. The reality is they aren't alone with their slow speeds. New data show more than 400,000 households in Minnesota have little to no access to broadband, or they're well under the goals for sufficient access. The gap is... is is very wide. I think the pandemic definitely has showed that. State investments and efforts are already underway to bring everyone up to speed by 2026. And those working to bridge divide say a $100 million boost in federal money from the infrastructure bill is a win to achieve that goal. While the pandemic sort of highlighted the issues that we have and the gaps that we have, um, the need for the high speed broadband doesn't go away when the pandemic is over. For the Ericsons, broadband connectivity should be as simple as keeping the lights on. They just thought that was important to all rural Minnesotans or all rural Americans, that you have electricity. In today's economy, it, this is just the same thing. In Schaefer, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Minnesota could get even more than the expected $100 million for broadband based on need. The national plan provides $65 billion for high-speed internet.